Okay, how many, how many people have heard of this book, The Talent Code? It's a, it's a fabulous read, and this is it right here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring some, the, the next few slides here, we're gonna talk about this book, because it talks all about skill acquisition. Okay, so this, the, the whole premise of the book is this, right? The Talent Code is built on revolutionary scientific discoveries invol involving a neuroinsulator called myelin. How many people have heard of the word myelin? Right? It's the white matter in your brain. It's an important aspect of, of our biology. Okay, some neurologists consider myelin to be the holy grail of acquiring skill. So how does it happen? How do you acquire skill? Every human skill is created by chains of nerve fibers carrying a tiny electrical impulse. Okay, it's a signal traveling through a circuit. Myelin's role is to wrap those nerve fibers the same way that rubber insulation wraps copper wire, making the signal stronger and faster by preventing those impulses from leaking out. Okay, so skill acquisition takes place in your brain, not in your muscles. When we fire our circuits the right way, whether we are practice swinging a bat, playing a music note, shooting a hockey puck, learning how to skate backwards, working on a crossover, our myelin responds by wrapping layers of insulation around the neural circuit. Each new layer adding a bit more skill and speed. This is biologically how it happens, okay? The thicker the myelin gets, the better it insulates, the faster and more accurate our movements and thoughts become. So why is it important? Number one, it's universal. Everybody can grow it. Okay? Number two, it grows most swiftly in children, and in particular, in the teen years, right? Which is the age group that you guys are working with, right? The teen years, the brain's key development period as far as information processing pathways, it's very receptive to myelin, okay? So, you know, in, in sports, we talk a lot about muscle memory, right? And really, muscle memory, it's really not muscle memory. It has nothing to do with muscles. It has everything to do with your brain. It's myelination. That's what it is, okay? And that's how you create automacity, where you don't have to think about what you're doing, okay? That's the process, biologically, how it happens, okay? It's growth, uh, myelin growth takes place, as far as skill acquisition, both mental and physical. So it's whether you're learning how to read, or learning how to play an instrument, or learning how to do a crossover, or learning how to hit a baseball. The same process takes place as far as the skill acquisition biologically in your brain, okay? This guy, Dr. George Botsokis, the professor of neurology at UCLA, okay, he says that myelin is the key to learning skills. The more we fire a circuit, the more myelin optimizes that circuit, the stronger and faster and more fluent the movement become. This is a word that they use a lot in psychology, it's called chunking. How many people have heard of that word, chunking, right? It's, a, it's an interesting concept. All skill acquisition takes place this way. What happens is, is your brain groups important elements together in a framework. So they've done studies, for example, with uh, an example of, of chunking would be when you learn how to read and you understand that certain letters, when you put, put them together, they make a certain sound, like a TH, for example, right, or an ING. Right? That's, that's an example of chunking. They've done a lot of studies with chess players where they'll, they'll take a, a chess board and they'll put the, the pieces on the board and they'll flash it on a screen really fast and then they'll, they'll take it off and they'll ask different chess players at different stages from master chess players to novices to recall where the pieces were. The master chess players can recall every piece. They flash it quick, they get a real quick picture of the, of the board, they can recall where every piece is. The interesting part of the study is, is when they put the pieces in certain places that they don't normally occur in a chess game, and I don't play chess, so it's hard for me to understand this, but when they, when they put the pieces in, in places where they're not normally, they, they aren't normally are, the master chess players cannot recall where the pieces are. They have the same memory recall as the novice. Okay, so the, the takeaway from that is that's how the learning process takes place. It's chunking, it's anticipatory skills, where you create, when, when you train something, you create a database. You create a database in your mind through this chunking process, and that's how skill acquisition takes place. Right, so it's like when Albert Pujols is hitting a baseball, okay, 
he's, he's keying off a certain cues of the pitcher so that he can put, the, put his bat on the ball. Okay? It's the same process as the master chess player that takes place. So what do good athletes do when they train? They send these, in, these impulses along wires that, that give the signal to myelinate. They end up, after all their training, with, with the super-duper highway, right? Lots of bandwidth. It's a high-speed line. And, and, and that's how you create instinctive skills, okay? So that's the process that takes place biologically in your body when you're acquiring skills, okay? So the next question is, how, does it, how, do, we, how do we leverage these things? How does it happen?